Open Photoshop from the Start menu. Once the program opens, go to File, New, and a splash screen will come up. Select Print, and then come over to the right-hand menu and change the measurement to millimeters. For your half-page ad, the measurements are 215 millimeters wide by 140 millimeters high and landscaped. Remember to make sure that your resolution is 300 dpi before you hit create. You now have a blank template with which to create your first version of the ad. The first rule of printing is you need to make sure you've generated a bleed area. As I was setting this up though, I realized the measurements were in inches, not millimeters. You may run into this problem and you need to go to preferences, units and rulers and change the measurement to millimeters rather than inches. This will allow you to make your bleed area five millimeters around the edge. Next, I use the marquee tool to create a box that is 130 millimeters by 205 millimeters. This gives us five millimeters around the edge. Notice it's not centered, and I will have to center it in just a moment. This can be a little tricky getting the measurement right, but it's worth the effort. Having got the measurement right, I then move over to the select tool, and using the select tool, I grab the marquee and drag it until I have a pink vertical line and a pink horizontal line indicating that the marquee is now in the center of my page, like this. I want to color in the bleed area, and to do so, I'm going to select a new layer in which to color the bleed area. Having done that, I then need to invert the selection, so I'm using the outside, not the inside, select a color, in this case red, and then use the paint bucket tool, which is also underneath the gradient tool, and click in the area, printing a red square in the layer above my background. We should rename the area Bleed. Keep this layer on the top, and you can switch it on and off with the eye icon on the left. You can also set the opacity to about 50% so it's not intrusive. This way you can always have it there, but it doesn't get in the way. Next, you want to use the text tool on the far left here and type your title right in the top. Use the move tool to drag your title around the advertisement space. Avoid placing it in the bleed area and center it then hit enter to release it. Next, I'm going to create a couple of boxes to mark out where my main assets are going to be placed. The rectangle tool will be used for this task and each rectangle will automatically create its own layer. You need to make the fill empty and the stroke black and six pixels thick. Fill is the inside of the rectangle and stroke is the line around it. I'll create a portrait box and a landscape box. Align the boxes appropriately, avoiding the bleed area, and then rename each box according to what you plan to put into it, either images or copy. Always make sure your bleed area is at the top so you can see it. You can drag it to the top of the list in the right-hand layers panel. So that's how you set up your advertisement. Remember, the title, its text, font, color, etc. are all up to you. The boxes for the content are also up to you. These have been given for guidance only.